let's look into SAS date time. Here we have two components, date and time. And you can see that for time component, you have hours, minutes, and seconds. Now let us look in how date time is stored in SAS. Date time is stored from a particular reference point, and that reference point is 01 Jan 1960, 0 hours, 0 minutes, and 0 seconds. Whenever you have this particular date time, it is stored as 0. So for date time, you increase or decrease by one second. What do I mean by that? Now let us look in, in here wherein I am saying A equal to 360. So our reference point is 01 Jan 1960, 0 hour, 0 minutes and 0 seconds. It is stored as 0. Every increase of 1 means 1 second. Here 360 means we have increased by 360 seconds which means 6 minutes and if I run this code you will see that we have elapsed our time by 6 seconds from our reference point. Now I have used a format that is why it is shows us in the date time fashion rather than showing as a number but behind the scenes this is stored as a number and that is starting from our reference point. Now if we want to give a date time value without giving any number like this we can do this with the help of date time literal which has the date and time components in it in the codes followed by dt this tells the SAS system that is this is a date time and then if we run quickly this one you can see in the result that we have a very big number this is the number of seconds that has passed from our reference point and as you know our reference point is stored as zero. Now if I want our date time what we have given in here to have a format rather than showing it as a number all we need to do is we need to give a format statement. Now if we quickly run this here you can see that it is shown in a date time dot format. Now if you are interested to pull date from date time we need to use a function known as date part and we need to apply it on our date time and it pulls our date which I am calling here in as DT and also this date I am giving as date 9 format. Now if I quickly run this here you can see that we have able to pull our date from our date time 